Jose Altuve has won a batting championship and been an all-star. But this year in 2016, right after the all-star break, he's having and establishing himself a career year. We want to take a look here if there's a mechanical advantage or reason that Altuve has been more successful this year than any year in his career, or if it's something else that we can look at through Sabre metrics to identify in his approach of why he's having so much success. From a mechanical standpoint, as you see here, one of the things that I feel like Altuve does extremely well, and he has to do this because he's 5'6", listed at 165, is he does an exceptional job of tightening the coil through the leg, around the hip, and up to the upper scap in the body to make an extremely tight swing that allows him to really generate torque throughout the unload portion of the swing. The one thing that I can see here is he walks out, he does a great job of maintaining instep pressure as his body goes forward. When this happens, he begins to really tighten the spring around the rear hip. Now, he's not unique to this. There's a lot of hitters that do a good job in their lower body of maintaining that coil around the backside. But as he continues to walk out, you can see how well he holds upper body resistance, and you'll see it in this clip here. He's out on his front side just a little bit, but the hands stay back. You can see how the rear elbow will rise as the scap loads. You can see how that pulls up, and he maintains that scap load and resistance all the way into foot down, even as he's recognizing an off-speed pitch. Because of this, the, toil is the coil is tightened through the lower back into the upper back, which allows for maximum swing output through progressed torque. So we're getting everything out of his potential ceiling as a hitter, and he can do this and maintain it while recognizing pitches. So here, we're starting to take this into his approach. So what you're seeing with Altuve is very rarely does he swing at balls out of his hitting zone. So his approach is he's maintaining an attack on balls that he feel like, feels like are in his hot zone, and he's laying off of pitcher's pitches. This is shown because at 9.8% walk ratio this year is nearly double his career high of or career average of 5.6. He has 211 isolated power. So when he does swing the bat, we're seeing that he's putting hard balls into play. His slugging percentage is nearly 120 points higher than his career average right now after the All-Star break at 568. And maybe most importantly, a 1.07 walk to strikeout ratio. So what does this all mean? This means that Altuve is getting his a pitch and he's not missing it. He's not chasing balls out of the zone. His saber metric on chasing balls out of the zone is at a career low. So when we have players that can do this, yes, he has a slight mechanical advantage for a guy his size. He maintains good upper body resistance so he can get increased torque. But to be able to do that while recognizing pitches not getting fooled on the off-speed pitch, and most importantly, very Barry Bonds-esque, albeit a completely different hitter in style, not swinging at pitches out of his zone and continuing to get his pitch and not missing it. When players can do this, what we've done is shrunk home plate. So he's able to get balls into his hitting zone and exclude the pitches on the corner or pitches outside of the zone, shrinking the zone from 17 inches across into his hitting zone, which is probably closer to 10 to 12 inches. When players get locked in like this, they say they're seeing the ball well, but mainly what he's doing is maintaining a very slow, slow smooth tempo in order to see the ball into that hitting zone and attack it when it's there. Because of this, Altuve, in his increased Awareness in his approach is going to continue to have potential MVP numbers for 2016.